yesterday we cleaned the carport majorly. It was a disaster. I'll put a picture in here of what it looked like before. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's clean now. And then Taylor got to work on this door. The reason that we had to clean it out is because it's been rainy, which we're happy about. Yeah, like, we needed the rain. But... It's been so dry here. Rain is a good thing, but we needed somewhere to work on the, the doors. And today I am going to start by cleaning out the coops, the mini coops, because it was so rainy, they're really disgusting now. Yeah, yeah and they need fresh hay and everything. What are you gonna work on? I am going to put up that door, which is, well, it'll close up one of two holes in the run that are still left. And then I'm going to at least cut out all the doors for the coop itself. Okay. So we can cut them out and like get some primer on them before we mount them. It's kind of my goal. See how far I get with all that. <laughs> it's like, Almost two o'clock already. We've gotten a late start the last couple days, but we're getting close. Yeah, really close. While I clean out the coop, we have these guys free ranging in our compost pile. <laughs> they all literally flock to this as soon as we let them outside. And then, as usual, we have these little garden gremlins. Good soup. Since it's been so rainy the last couple of days, both the run and the coops are super gross and muddy. So what I'm doing is just pulling the straw out of the coops and I'm just gonna spread it around the run to give the chickens and the ducks a little bit of a dry area to walk on so they're not walking around in muck all day. And once we get them into their big coop, we're gonna be trying the deep litter method. We think that will be super beneficial for our garden and it will be another way that the chickens can be beneficial to us. And once we get them into the bigger coop and run area, I'll actually be going in to this mini run that they're in right now, digging up all of this layered hay and straw and leaves that we've got in here to keep their feet dry. And I will be piling this up and making a compost pile for them to dig through in the main run. We never really planned on the chickens being in this temporary solution for this long, but that's just how it is. So initially we didn't put a lot of roosts in here. So the chickens have taken to hanging out on top of the coops and the poop piles on top of the coops have started to build up pretty badly. Taylor asked if I could hose them down because the other night when he was pulling a chicken off of them at bedtime, the poop splattered him and covered his whole face and his sweatshirt. So I figured I'd clean them off for him and they're so much better than they were. roll up the wire scraps or something to help pull clean up. Find a place to be alone Look into your eyes Feeling butterflies We could dance under the stars Fall into each other's arms we can lose this love so hold on to what we know we have look at that would you like to demonstrate it again it's a nice big door one door down well not really i gotta put all the one by four on it hold on. Turn into day. Now we 
just thinking. I hear a little munchkin. There he is. Hello, do. Hey, bud. Did you just wake up from your nap? Hello. On this day, it was almost 70 degrees outside, which is crazy for December, so I figured I'd take advantage of it and do some things in the garden that I've been avoiding doing because we've been focused on other stuff and because it's been a little chilly. So my first task that I wanted to do was to chop down all of our asparagus fronds that were still up and dried and dead, and then I wanted to mulch that bed because it also has our strawberries in it. and. For some reason, I just haven't mulched it in a long time and it really needed it. Another thing that I needed to do was to reset some of these beds that I have covered up with this silage tarp because we've been getting some crazy winds lately and they're just blowing around even though I have bricks set on them. I'm not going to buy sandbags or anything because this the bricks are what I have and that's what's working. Sometimes I just have to adjust them. And then the other thing was I wanted to pull the dead loofah gourd off of the trellis just so the garden looks a little bit cleaner. Got a door? Well, come check it out. Go check out this door. Looks good. <laughs> so the only reason this latch fits tight is because this isn't actually straight. I want to like put all the chickens in here just to see what they all look like in all this space. <laughs> I'm just going to put these boards on the backs of these doors.
So we're gonna have like trim on the top, bottom, middle, mm -hmm. and I figure I'll probably put an F, like a cross piece of trim, okay. and then that cross piece of trim will do a little bit to help stiffen them too. Uh, yeah, I feel like that should flatten it out enough. But this is, so what I'm thinking is on the back side, I'm gonna just do these, and then I think I'm going to put blocks behind where the hinge goes. To screw into it? Yeah, so I think I'll just, I'll cut like a two by four chunk that's whatever, like six inches long to go on the back side of here. Okay. And then this will screw through and that should help keep it like, the screws won't be like pulling out of the sheet. What we just measured is I think we're gonna do, put the hinges like two inches up from the bottom and two inches down from the top. I kind of put some like here. And, yeah. Sounds good. All right, I've let the coops dry out for a while and need to fill them back up with hay because it's getting dark and so they'll have a nice dry cozy place to sleep tonight. when you look outside at 3 30 and you're like oh my goodness i need to go outside and do things it's getting dark <laughs> i'm about to let the birds out as you can hear they're ready and then i need to prime the nesting box doors for taylor before he gets home so he can put them up come on little birds I don't know what the heck these are for, but I'm gonna try and use this to open that primer container because they make those things like impossible to open. recording a podcast 
and it was the first podcast I've ever been on. They asked me to be a guest, which was really, really cool. I feel so honored. Um, if you haven't heard of it, it's called From the Farmyard Podcast. The hosts are two 18-year-old homesteaders, which is super cool. It's really neat to chat with and make friends with homesteaders who are doing this and starting this young. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about it. I think the podcast episode's not coming out until January, but they have a lot of podcast episodes out, so go check that out if you are into podcasts. Being on that podcast reminded me of another really, really cool thing that happened this week, and that is MI Gardener reached out to us and asked if they could give us our own affiliate link, which means if you go to their website and you're buying seeds already and you go through our link, it supports us with no extra cost to you, which is really, really cool. Again, I don't expect you to use it. Even just watching these videos and commenting means more than I can express to you. And we appreciate just that so much. But since a few of you have been asking, I figure I'll pop that in this video. Um, a few ways you can support us outside of YouTube. We have a PO box, we just recently got it. So if you wanted to send any snail mail to us, that is now linked in our descriptions as well. We have a blog with recipes that I've linked a few in the videos. We have a buy me a coffee website and just a lot of other stuff in the description if you haven't checked that out. So if you've been wondering about those things, there you go. Like I said, I don't expect anybody to do anything other than just watch and comment. We appreciate that more than I can express to you in words. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.